Stony Point High School Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. Change of Command and Final Salute. May 10, 2024. Please also stand. 
Thank you all. We appreciate your commitment. This school year is the first in the Booster Club's formation, and it has been a great success. In total, we raised $17,776.14 for the NJRTC. Thank you. This money was used to both establish the organization as a 501c3 nonprofit organization, provide insurance that covers our Booster Club leadership and members when serving in the community, the parent banquet at the beginning of the year, cadet meals at drill meets, NJROTC cadet photo packages, NJROTC supplies, uniform dry cleaning for state competition teams, a charter bus to get everyone back home whenever we were stranded there, funding of supplies and facilities needed for hosting fundraiser activities. If 19 booster members can raise $17,000, imagine what we can accomplish if more of you will get involved. All parents who have cadets continuing in the program and community members alike, the Booster Club needs your help to continue to operate and support this amazing program. There are three major ways you can help. Follow us on our social media platforms. Have a flyer where you can sign up to do that. There's also one on the table out there. We're going to post this outside of Portable One. Participate in our fundraiser events and participate in the Booster Leadership. When we are requesting booster sponsorship, businesses consider what they will get back from supporting our organization. One of the things that they look forward to is advertising of their business. And the more followers we have on social media, the more we can promise those businesses in the way of exposure. Also, all the competitions that the cadets have participated in this year have videos and pictures on our Facebook page, so it's a win for you too. Thank you to the Booster Business Sponsors for this school year. Screaming Eagle Construction, Dell Technologies, HEB Grocers, k and Grooming, and St. Richard's Episcopal Church. The American Legion is also a huge financial supporter of the NJRTC program. The entire purpose of the Booster Club is to raise funds for the NJRTC program, and we need increased participation in both volunteers and purchasers for the best outcomes. We have more uh, four, excuse me, we have four main fundraisers that we hope to grow into major sources of income in addition to corporate sponsorships. These include purchasing merchandise for sale, volunteering at RS3 events year round, Tiger Challenge, and our annual guide on Ruck and Run 5K. Tonight, you may be able to pick up NJROTC shirts inside the small to 3X for a discounted price of $20 or an NJRTC yard sign for $20. To volunteer with RS3, you need to become a TAAC certified person and attend an orientation at the location you want to work before being able to pick up a ship to serve in concession stands at either Dell Diamond Baseball Field or HEB Center in Cedar Park. The Booster Club gets $75 per four and a half to five hour shift plus tips. My personal best night was $135. Imagine if that had been 10 of us there that night. We are now recruiting parents interested in serving in a leadership role for the nomination at the May 21st, 2024 general membership meeting. If your cadet is currently in the program, you should have received an email from Master Guns with those role descriptions. The positions to be filled include president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, parliamentarian, communications chair, volunteer coordinator, bank statement reviewer, fundraiser committee members, audit committee members, and scholarship committee members. There's room for you. You do have to have a cadet in the program and be a booster member to serve in one of these needed roles. Is Patricia Jones here? If so, will you stand? No? Okay, I'm sure she'll be here later. But if you have any questions about any of those roles, you can find me, um, and I'm happy to answer any of those questions. This school year, we met twice a month on the first and third Tuesdays for planning meetings in addition to being present at events. But y'all can decide what works best for you. Seniors and their parents, the Booster Club will be hosting a private celebration with cake and sparkling cider 
in Portable 8 following tonight's ceremony. Please join us there. It's just directly across the street. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Pet Seaman Recruit Arvind, and I'll be the narrator for tonight's ceremony. Welcome to the Stony Point Navy JRTC Awards Night, Change of Command, and final salute to our senior cadets. Before we begin, we want to welcome all of our veterans in attendance, past and present. Please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. On behalf of our principal, Mr. Watson, and Naval Science Instructor, Master Gunnery Sergeant Castillo, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Gunnery Sergeant Castillo. I'm back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of the RTC is to instill leadership, discipline, and better citizenship for our future leaders. I can tell you right now, it's no easy task, and it is very challenging for the cadets. <laughs> Lucky for them, they had a Marine uh, get the job, and I'm very, I'm challenging a whole lot. But you know, the purpose is actually the number one, the number one priority is graduation from high school. There's no higher priority. And then setting them up for success for the future, whatever that may be. Nurse, doctor, cop, I'm gonna go be a plumber and I heard that a lot, they make a lot of money. Whatever it is, everything they learn in the RTC has roots in whatever they're gonna do in the future. A lot of lifelong lessons, lifetime learning lessons, all of it centered around they becoming better citizens for our country. And you don't have to serve in the military, but you absolutely, you're gonna serve your country in some form or fashion. And I will always respect their decisions, whatever they do when they graduate, because I know they are serving their country. Thank you. The commander of troops for this evening's ceremony is Cadet Senior Chief Bracken Tuck. Ladies and gentlemen, the Navy JROTC has a rich history modeled on the active duty forces of the United States Navy and Marine Corps. In the ROTC, we conduct our ceremonies according to the rules and regulations used by the Marine Corps Drill Manual 5060.20. Present day reviews have their basis in both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at closed intervals made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle-loaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that, a line of two or three ranks that looked much like the parade formation you will see today. The adjutant will now form the line of battle. The adjutant for tonight's ceremony is Cadet Chief Daisy Estrada.
please rise for the marching on of the colors and sing the national anthem by our very own cadet seaman Jane Lorgan and remain standing for the posting of the colors.
Our chaplain, Cadet Ensign Shelby Barnes, will give the invocation. Let us pray. We thank you for this beautiful day that we can stand before you on this day. We ask for your presence with us as the command of Stony Point Tychonized Company is handed over. We come to you because this peaceful exchange of command reminds us of the freedom that we as Americans have and the freedom that you have provided that you allow. And as the senior cadets leave, I ask you may guide them on the new path they will walk and that your guidance will be with them. In Jesus' name I pray. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cadet Company Commander, Lieutenant Commander Hunter Lopez, will now take his position on the parade deck. When your name is called, line up. Angel, 
Yuan, Trinity, Oldroy, Michaela, Ovida, Rivaz, Genesis, Schneider, Crispin, Ware, Logan, Zana, Ibtisam. Okay, parents, we invited the incoming freshmen. I guess they didn't make it out, so. Oh, where's she at? Got one? Yeah. Oh, she didn't pay attention. Uh oh, come on down here. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Gunnery Sergeant Castillo. I'm out of the Four years ago, they stood the whole time. This year, we're going to let them uh, sit down. Thank <laughs> you. 
take your seats. We will now promote our cadets who have completed the Naval Science 1 course to the rate of seamen and seamen apprentices. I do hereby appoint you to the rate of seaman apprentice. To all who shall see these presents, greetings know ye that by the authority vested in me and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of. I promote these cadets to the rate of seaman apprentice. To all who shall see these presents, greetings know ye that by the authority vested in me and reposing special trust and confidence in the people. Aaron Caudillo, Landon DeLauder, Alexander Barnhill, Eli Barnes, Anya Arvin, Avery Peterson, Ethan Martinez, Nicholas Chen, Aiden Keller, Landon Cassius, Mikai McLennan, Louis Milan Ortega, Aliyah Frunyan, Samuel Wright, Twain DeCroix, De Kendall Jackson, Jack Nance, Matthew, Matthew Santiago, Jorge Cabrera Benegas, Miriam Reynoso Ortiz, Brayden Swope, Kristen Vasquez Cortez, Graceland Weaver. To all who shall see these presents, greetings know ye that by the authority vested in me and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of, I do hereby appoint you to the rate of seamen. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Gunnery Sergeant Castillo. All right, this is the important part, right? We're going to start with our veterans organizations. I'm going to let Cadet Marvin keep uh, trial by gunfire here, by fire, we call it trial by fire. Come on, okay, you're going to read them for them, and I'm going to assist the veterans presenting the awards. American Legion General Military Excellence Medal. Presenting the medal is Jim Parker. 
Haven Burke. Be in the top 25% of their JROTC class, have demonstrated outstanding qualities in the military leadership, discipline, character, and citizenship. of his or her JRTC class have demonstrated qualities of leadership, have actively participated in related student activities such as student organizations. JROTC Award, Jaden Lorgan. For the demonstration of strong moral courage, discipline, and dedication to being an outstanding citizen. Achievement Award. Presented by Lieutenant Colonel Ron Butler. Jiwon Yoon. For patriotism and community service in the academic top 25 percent of their class. The Order of Medallions was organized by World War I military pilots who sought to perpetuate the spirit of patriotism, love of country, and those high ideals of self-sacrifice which place service to the nation above personal safety and position. The Medallion Award is presented to the outstanding cadet who embodies patriotism and love of country who desires to serve our nation through a pursuit of military career, who ranks in the top 20% of their high school class, and who ranks in the upper 10% of their JRTC class. Just a moment of commercial here. For, the, for those cadets who are going on to college and going into ROTC, the Order of the gives scholarships, and also we pay to teach them how to fly. So if you go into college, ROTC, remember the Dedalian.org. I just took a fellow up today from University of Texas who got a $4,000 scholarship, and I took him up flying on his first flight.
State Reserve Association, presented by Russ Miller. Samantha Trevino. Association of America. Alvin Lee. Cadets of High Moral Character leading by example.
Navy Lee, presented by Russ Miller, Micah Perkins. For example, the championship is demonstrated in the hard work, self-discipline, leading by example, and going above and beyond the Call of Duty within our battalion. Officer Association. Antonio Tober. A cadet party officer demonstrating outstanding performance in military training. Reserve Officer Association, Rion Patel. Top 10% of OECD class, top 25% of academic classes, outstanding work, work ethic, and outstanding citizenship. Retired Enlisted Association, Hunter Lopez. Being the top 10% of his or her JROTC class, being the top 25% of his or her school class, contributed the most to advancing the objective of the unit. of Freemasonry, Thomas Gideon. Leadership of academic research in the top of 50% of their class. Revolution. Camila Fuentes. Pride and dignity in the execution of duties reflects honor and dignity. Daisy Estrada. <laughs> Presented to a cadet in the program 
Master Gunnery Sergeant Castillo. Okay, why we are here, why, why we are here, is because the ROTC has distinguished themselves once again for the third year in a row, becoming a distinguished unit with academic honors. What does that mean? What that means is, once again, we qualify for nine scholarships to all the military academies. Three to the Air Force Academy, three to West Point, and three to Annapolis. If I only had a junior who would apply for the scholarship. If you're a junior, stand up. They can apply for these scholarships. Seats. Now, Ms. Armand's going to come up here and read this certificate for us. The highest unit award is bestowed upon your unit in recognition of your superior performance. You have the, the distinction of being selected from among the most outstanding units in the nation. You are a credit to the Navy Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps program. I, command, I commend you for your exceptional performance. of 67. It took four years. Now we're number one. We did it. Watson, it is with great pleasure that I forward the enclosed certificate designating Stony Point High School as a distinguished unit with honors for the 2023-24 school year. This highly regarded distinction is made in recognition of the outstanding support provided by your school and the overall achievements of your Navy Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps unit during the 2022-23 school year. The Distinguished Unit with Honors designation is awarded annually to school groups. NGRTC program ranks in the top 30% of the programs in each NGRTC area. Competing units are ranked according to the degree of excellence attained in administration, academic performance, military proficiency, and host school support. As the administrative head of the Distinguished Unit with Honors, you are authorized to nominate three eligible cadets for admission to the U.S. Naval Academy, three to the U.S. Military Academy, and three to the U.S. Air Force Academy. Information applicants are available for each academy on their use respective websites. I would like to thank you and the members of 
your faculty for the outstanding support you have given the Enter ROTC program. I know that you are very proud of the success achieved by your students unit. It is clear that you share with us the expectation and encouragement of excellence. All right, so what did we do this year? Over 3,000 hours of community service, over 2,000 hours of high school support, community support hours, football games, color guards, out in town, community service with veterans, veterans organizations, the cadets volunteering their time at Pumpkin Patch in the community, all around the city. This unit is famous. No other ROTC in the ISD does more than these cadets do for you. Now, there's a lot of things that goes into becoming a, a distinguished unit with academic honors. First of all, how many of the cadets are on the honor roll? How many of the cadets have a 3.0 or higher stand up? Stand up, 3.0 high. Now, but the 3.0, who has a 3.5? If you don't have a 3.5, sit down. If you don't have a 4.0, sit down. 4.0 students right here. That was just the first category that they asked of the ROTC. Then they say, what are we doing to prepare them for college or the military? Stick a seat. Now, raise, if you're a senior and you plan on attending university, stand. Alright, almost there. 
Then we have units enlisted in the National Guard, who we call the Baylor Boot Camp. Cadet Nelson is enlisted in the United States Navy. And Mr. Cromer also, I was going to worry, he became a Marine. He rocked. He became a Marine. And Mr. Perkins also enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. Cadet Akasi, C for short, Marine Corps. And Moreno, last but not least, United States Navy. Hey, good evening everyone. My name is Sergeant Dan. Uh, I hail from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've been in the Marine Corps for five years and it has been an absolute honor to get to work with this program with Master Guns and the future of our U.S. military and the future of U.S. citizens. Hey, good evening. I'm Sergeant DeMeo. Um, I previously was at this school, so I have a few, uh, few coolies here. Sergeant Jim is actually taking over this year. If you remember me from last year, I was here as well, um, taking over for Stats Sergeant Castro. So he's going to be uh, in the schools, helping out with the JROTC and we're going to do it. I'm at Cedar Ridge and uh, Hot High School. Y'all didn't tell them how much money they're getting for college. Okay, so. Okay, parents. So, whether you enlist in the reserves or you enlist on active duty, they're going to get over $65,000 for college. They can do tuition assistance while on active duty, get the college degree like I did. I got my two degrees while I was on active duty. They can get it if they're on active duty. They study, buckle down, and do the homework. It can be done. If they decide to get out, once they do get out into the back of the civilian life, they can go to college all the money they got. Hey, I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm very proud of you. Good luck and take your seats. So then it goes on to talk about community service hours. And it goes on to talk about what else have you done? Did you go to competitions? We went to every drill meet. We went to six drill meets this year. We burned through a lot of money. And it takes a lot of money to run this program. So we can sign up if you want, but if we can't afford the bus, we can't go. But we have a lot of donors this year that donated money to us. And I can't tell you, how much of an impact it had on the success of this unit. Because if you don't have the dollars, you're not going to rank up. And thank you, and I'd like to present right now to the distinguished American Legion. Please come up the representatives. Team. They took it all the way to the semifinals of state. 
Now they're going to come up for all that arm and explain a little bit later, but it is to be on that side of the team, but it's a lot. You've got to know your keys, I guess. We have zeros and ones. Harvard. Well, oh, she's saying that she's good. The cyber team is a, a competition where we go through simulations um, tackling cybersecurity problems. And this team right here, the first one in our school's history, made it all the way to second place at the state championship for the first time. They couldn't have done it without their mentor and teacher and coach, and also one of Stony Point Stony Point High School's very own Mrs. Williams. Please come down. Mr. Thank you, Mrs. Williams. You distinguished yourself in helping the RTC achieve this goal. All right, we're here to make sure for next year, Mrs. Williams. We hope to do it again. We want to win it this time. Thank you so much. So, if you guys know anything about that uh, information, she's probably, she should have been the one presenting that award. But if you want to mentor and help the team, please contact me and get your contact with Ms. Williams. Cadets, post! All right, if you participated in Tiger Challenge, stand up. Okay, Tiger Challenge, we haven't got a trophy back for about like eight years, but we've been close. It's a traveling trophy, but these cadets participate in Tiger Challenge, and we do get out every year for that trophy. They will earn a lot of trophies this year. If you look over here to my left, that's this year. We didn't break it all out, because they break our trophies every time they break them out. That's half of what we've earned for one this year. If you were on the marketship team, get up here. Okay. The marketship team, thanks to the American Legion and other, other foundations that helped us, they competed in three competitions this year. They won the SOPOS Silver Division Championship competition, and the medals came in up and had it from them, because you know, they go digging around. But here's all the medals they earned. You can hand them out to them, please. Thank you. And because they did, did circles, they won these medals for the national division. They competed against 38 teams. That's just circles. I'm not to the Navy. They are a lot of medals. Haven Burr, Gianna Lab, AAA, Aaron, Abdel, Mini, Samantha Trevino, Les Panela, Victoria Martinez, and Perez, the cover Academy. Then they said that wasn't enough, and we, at every tour meet, we competed with 30 different units, and then we also competed with Area 19 units. And so when it was all said and done, when, all, when it was all said and done, they competed with against 60 teams to win third place at the state championship. So they won these matches in Stonewall. And 
So I'll continue with one more board that I give out every year. This was also started last year, and this award I give it to the cadet that just about does as many hours as I do at work. And so, I get drawn. Jackson Soul. Mr. Watson, if you would like to present, please, sir, to Mr. Chapman, Chapman, distinguished teacher. Thank you for assisting us during the break law and five days. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's the voice that they're looking for. Yeah, my name is Mr. Chapman. Last 2012 year, actually. So, I guess I'm looking for that you can leave Stony Point at some point, but I guess I appeared back here at one point. Back there's my middle school principal right there. Mr. Martinez, our Spanish teacher, distinguished teacher. 
Distinguished teacher, Mr. Sharp, and my wingman at RTC. Commander Sanders was born in December, and Mr. Watson was kind of up getting a long term sub, and that is a veteran of the Armed Forces, Air Force, I believe. Right? Mr. Sharp, please come down. Mr. Watson, please come down. Mr. Mark. 
party. Hi, parents. So I couldn't have done it without them. April Stewart was my female chaperone who went to Alabama. Thank you, April. Thank you so much for being there with us. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart to the booster, to all you guys, we could not have been successful without you. Parents, it, it takes a family. They can't always be there, but if you want to volunteer anytime, come out and support. Please do so. They did this year. I'd love to put a member on your neck. Please come out if you can. Thank you. Because our booster is our first year, I decided to make the Bronze Tiger Award to our very first booster, Mom April Lopez. Thank you for everything you did. I have a very good experience with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, having a booster is it's, it's a necessity. You can't do this without a booster club. And April, Thank you for kicking it off for us. I really appreciate it. I can never thank you enough. All I can do is give you this paper weight to put somewhere in your house. It's probably going to, I don't know. But thank you for your dedication to the RTC from 2020 to 2024. Four years. Trevino, 
Hadea, Burke, Chen, Mason, Lorgan, Little Lou, Tover, Vasquez, Lewis, Fuentes, Vido, Perez, Vitowski, Bovon, Tuck, Nelson, Cassius, and Bellator.
to all who shall see these charges, greetings, no need, that by the authority vested in me and repose in such a special confidence in the patriots of my valor, fidelity, and abilities of cadets. I hereby appoint you to the rank of Chief Petty Officer.
position in the company. When your name is called, please take your place on the radio.
the first time in the history of a school. Right? And the Lieutenant JG on the end over here, my liaison, Mr. Gideon, will be responsible for the conduct and care of those cadets over there at Sea Ridge. Make sure they're wearing their uniform all day. They're supposed to wear their uniform all day. Post! Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, faculty, and cadets. It was a great honor and pride that I stand before you today at the Stony Point Cedar Ridge High School Naval General TC Change to Man and Final School Ceremony. This event marks a significant moment for the Tiger Knight Company as we celebrate the accomplishments and the commendable dedication to our cadets. The growth of this program would not be possible if we're not for the leadership and commitment of Master Guns. Please join me in standing up and giving this man a round of applause. Thank you, Master Guns. So throughout this academic year, the Tiger Guy Company has demonstrated unwavering commitment, dedication, and excellence in all of their endeavors. From their outstanding performance in their drills, their exceptional leadership skills, each cadet has exemplified the values of honor, courage, and commitment that are synonymous with the Naval JROTC program. Their achievements have made them nationally known, recognized, and respected. As we gather here today, we commemorate the change of command for the upcoming school year. It is a moment of transition and continuity. But we bid farewell to our current leadership and welcome the new set of leaders who will carry on and carry forward the legacy of excellence that defines the Tiger Knight Company. To our outgoing leadership, I extend my deepest gratitude for your outstanding service, leadership, and dedication to the Tiger Knight Company. Your child's efforts have not only shaped the lives of the fellow cadets, but have also left an indelible mark on your school community. You have set the bar high, and I have no doubt that you will continue to achieve greatness in all of your endeavors. To our incoming leadership, I offer you my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes as you embark upon this new chapter. You have been entrusted with a great responsibility, and I am confident that you will lead with integrity, passion, and a steadfast commitment to excellence. As you take on this role, remember that true leadership is not about authority, but about service, mentorship, and inspiring others to reach their full potential. So we guess let's remember that the true measure of your success lies not, lies not in the accolades you receive, even though there are very many of them, but in the lives you touch. The values you uphold and the legacy you leave behind. May the Tiger Knight Company continue to soar to new heights of excellence, and may you always strive to be the best versions of yourselves. Thank you. Cadets, Tiger Knights, Cedar Ridge students, Stone Point students, I'm very proud not only of what you have become, but what you have created with this NGROTC. A few years ago, they were so proud that they were the first company to say that we were a unit that was recognized. Today, it's an expectation. For those that are coming in, you don't have big shoes to fill. You have your rightful shoes to fill. 
You've been given an example, and it's time for you to take your place to create your history. I'm very proud that we have two young lady cadets that are in high ranking positions, but that's not the only history that's going to happen on this campus. Stay tuned, more history is to come. This unit is one of the greatest units in the state of Texas. And if you look at the banners that are on those poles, you will find banners that are consistent up until 2020, and then you'll find other banners that are consistent since 2020. ROTC used to be just a job. Kids were uniforms, people were satisfied, nobody in school had to pay attention, and it was just something to do. Master Gunn, you have helped create an order where well, NJROTC is cool. They want to be a part of it. And I see our kids on this campus back up when your kids are walking so they can have a clear path through and the respect is there. And that goes to see the Ridge Cadets, how you handle yourself, to the Stony Point Cadets, how you handle yourself. And for that, we do all we can to provide any funds to make sure you get what you need. And parents, I'm going to need your help because my funds will be less this year, next year, than this year. But my sweat equity will never change. While I may have, may not have the money, I will have the time and energy to help you raise the money needed to make sure that this company continues doing the work that it's done. So I'm very proud to say that I'm the principal of Tony Point High School. I'm very proud of this NJROTC company that serves at our campus. And I'm very proud of the Cedar Ridge students that are upholding that banner high at Cedar Ridge High School. So it is a double honor that I can have tonight. And thank you, Mr. Smith, for your commitment, because without your commitment and my commitment, then those funds wouldn't be there that we do try to get. So parents, thank you so much. To Ms. Lopez, thank you for taking the charge of being the first booster president. For so long, there was a fear. And the reason why there was a fear, because when you don't work, you don't want people to find out what you're not doing. But there no longer is a fear, because we're working. And parents, we want you to go work with us so these students can continue to have the funding that they need to do all the great things that they're getting used to. So as we say, put your money where your mouth is and give us your hands so we can raise funds, even more funds, for these students. Please be a part of the Booster Club. Please be a support to Master Guns. And with anything, any responsibility, head to head, he who wears a crown. Every now and then you may disagree, but it's not because of the heart. Sometimes it's just because of the head. And I live that every day. So I thank you for all you do. Thank you for your support when Master does. Thank you for your commitment to the Stone Point High School Tiger Knights in Thank you. Thank you. Parents, as I want to talk, I need to stand up. We're almost done. We've got about 10 more minutes. I'm sorry if you quit. I say we're going to get done at 8 and at 9. We'll be done by 8 30. We will now begin our change of command ceremony.
has made any commitments to this company. We worked hard to get to where we are, and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. I have to thank you, Master Jonas, for getting us where you are, for sticking with us for four years. I have to thank my parents for the dedication they gave to me. And I have to thank all the people behind me, because they're not just our friends, they're our family. Leaving them is going to be hard. But we'll be back, we'll see them, and we'll see their growth as we grew. Because we started something that has led to the better development of them. They have a better start than we did. They don't have to build it up, they just have to maintain it. Not that it's not hard, but it's a little easier. So thank you to everybody. Thank you to my family, thank you to Master Jones, our staff, my friends. And really, just thank you to the RTC family, because they've given us something that we wouldn't have otherwise. A community and a relationship that probably won't break. Thank you. Could I? 
Okay, fans, you're going to be putting the soles on your cadet. Before you guys go, let's get the soles on and then we'll go through. Uh, you're going to report to senior chief. You're going to go out that way. He's going to blow the whistle and send you ashore. And then, uh, Vasquez, Plax, they're in alphabetical order, pick up the box, and go down the line, please. Uh, look at the names, let's go. Almost, parents, almost there. Help her out. Okay, senior, this is my parting words for you. and the stones out there. Parents, first of all, thank you for allowing your student to be part of ROTC. It has been an honor for me to be the teacher, the instructor, the mentor, everything I could be to those kids. It wasn't an easy job, it's very hard, and I never forgot you were their first teacher. I did my best duty I could to prepare them, and I'm not gonna lie to you, the honest to God truth is, they take a little bit of me with them, because they are my freshman class. These are the students I have when I first showed up. So, uh, I don't want my eyes to sweat too much, but uh, it's been a long journey for all of us. I left you one last lesson in that box. There's one last lesson I gave you. You're gonna have to decipher what it says in that. And if you didn't get yours, man, it's because I have some misinformation about you, but I got you. But I will quote for each and every one of you. I boss. Y'all hear me? Are you hearing me? 
I wrote a quote for each and every one of you. It's what I thought about you. So I'm going to go down the line. Chavez. Over here, Chavez. Be brave, kid. You got this. You're going to be all right. Manny, it's never too late to join an organization and be a winner. Frymeyer, take a step back, analyze the situation before you step off. Calvin, go forth and do great things. You're a very talented person. Ski, greatness is yet to come. Jishnu, you have more talent than you believe. You just gotta go get the kid. Work on it. Pick your poison and run with that football kid. But you gotta pick one. Mr. Lewis, the sky's the limit, kid. One day I'm gonna be walking through the airport. I see you wearing a similar uniform. I won't be getting on your curb. I'm gonna be going to somewhere on vacation after this job. What I know. Your family is here. This is your family. Make the family wherever you go, kid. I'm very proud of you. I know it was a hard decision for you to join the RTC, but I'm glad you joined the RTC. Mr. Nelson, outstanding job this year. I'm very proud of you. Four years. Hey, we went through a lot this year, right? But the best lesson was saved for last. Don't ever forget where you came from and where you're going, kid. I'm very proud of you. I'm going to miss you in the last, the fun times. Sorry, we're going to do more sauces. All right, Patel, you're going to decide for what I wrote on that, but go do great things. There's a lot waiting. I can just, I can't wait to hear what happens. Mr. Perkins, my guy, took us to the state championship three years in a row. Thank you for everything you did, kid. My consummate profession. The quiet guy that when you speak, man, I mean, people listen. You set the example for all of these events. Thank you very much. Mr. Mr. White, White, Luther Vandals, we got nothing on you. Just gotta let it go, kid. Just sing, just sing. If you sing around the girl, I won't have no problems. All right, I'm proud of you, kid. Make sure you stick with it. I know you wanted to walk away because Master Gunn just kept it after you. Don't ever quit whenever you start, kid. Stick with it. You proved it, did it. I'm very proud of you, man. I know you had options, but you stayed with me. Thank you. Mr. Smalley, volunteering, knowledge, everything you gave to RTC kid. Thank you so much. You were by far one of the best operations officers we've ever had. Thank you for everything you gave to RTC. I'm gonna miss this kid. Good luck in Colorado. Say hi to your mom and dad, for mom and mom and dad. Thank you. Thank you so much. There you are, really the corner. Thank you. I'm gonna miss this kid. Bacon. We call him Bacon because he got in trouble at summer camp. Because he was talking while he was eating bacon. And we baptized his bacon because he had to do 20 push-ups. And he got, got back into the chair. He sat down, started eating more bacon, and started talking again. So he got in trouble again. He says, Bacon forever. So he's known as Bacon. Bacon, I want to miss you, kid. All those hours, it's all to see you take work, late hours. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go forward to great things, kid. Think about your actions. Think about the consequences before you step off, kid. No motorcycles. Mr. Hume, you also had choices. I can't wait to see what you're gonna do, kid. Go on to Baylor University, and I wanna see in that army uniform, I wanna see what, what you're gonna bring to this nation. You're a very intelligent man. I can't wait to hear the news about when you graduate, if you go with the military or not. You're gonna do great things, kid. Thank you for the GPA. Thank you, all of you, for 4.0. You absolutely helped the ROTC succeed. Thank you. And last but not least, Hunter Lopez. You're right, it's true what he said. A lot of kids showed up here, I and mean, this sucks. Y'all don't have nothing. No uniforms, no money. It was horrible, the building, it was just awful. No, it was bad. It was bad. But those cadets, they helped me. It takes a team. We'd sit in a circle like, hey, what do you guys think we should do? We should get this, we should get that, let's go for this, let's do this. Let's do it. I'll find the money. And the American Legion kicked in, and so did the school. 
But these cadets right here, my freshman class, they led the charge. They brought us to number one. Here we are. They did it. And because you did this, now you've demonstrated to everybody that you do have the knowledge and skills to go forward and do great things. Now, if you join the military, take a step forward. I did 30 years in the United States Marine Corps. Four combat tours. Scary times, good times, sad times, beautiful times. If you ever step into the engagement area, when you hit, the, hit that release point, you better make sure your troops are trained. You hear me? Before you set sail, you better make sure your troops are ready to go. In this line of work, it's life or death. No mistakes. You understand? You understand? Do great things, guys. I'm gonna miss you. And come find us back there at the portal will say hi to me. I can't wait to see you in your uniforms. Godspeed, fairways, and following the seas, guys. Simple fighters. Oh, and one last thing. The shadow box. My lovely wife, Erica, please stand up, Erica. She's been through this tour of duty with me. Every four years, we've been something. She helped us put together the shadow boxes. Breathe. That sacred cloth is from one of my combat tours, a few of my combat tours. I had my uh, Camouflage uniform, we cut it up, and that's the back of that shadow box. I wore that uniform in combat. So you remember me. Say goodbye.
Departing to New York Army Reserves. Cadet Lewis.
departing to U.S. Army Reserves. Cadet